Holy cow. Free Lego. Everything is free. It looks like we actually got an order in for these two mangas that we picked up at a Valley Village. High school debut 11 and 12. So we're actually gonna get this ready to ship out today. There it is, GameStop. I arrived 10 minutes early just to make sure I was here first in case there was anything really good to grab today for the $5 Friday deals. All right, come on, it's 10 o'clock. Let's see what they got. Thank you. All right, uh, pretty odd experience at the GameStop. This GameStop is usually packed with amazing items and action figures for you know the GameStop's $5 Fridays. And this was the rare occasion that they didn't have much at all. Uh, they did have this Yu-Gi-Oh! Advent calendar for 2021. Now this calendar looks to sell between $70 to $75 on eBay right now, which is actually really good for $5 pickup. So I'm happy with that. We're gonna go to another GameStop now, and then we're actually going to go to a thrift store just for good measure, just in case we find anything else to pick up today. Forget $5 footlongs. We're talking $5 Fridays at GameStop. I see the section right there. donations to sort through today. Whew. Morning. Morning. Pop-up guide to the galaxy. Huh. Wow. They got Pokemon Monopoly behind there. I actually found that at a abandoned garage sale once, but it was missing a lot of its pieces. Wonder what they're charging for it here. It looks like they got some PlayStation 4 sealed games down there. Uh, you got some Xbox One games behind the counter. No comic books. Sometimes they have comic books there at the corner. What is this? Player's Handbook Dungeons and Dragons. Holy crap. That's actually really cool. Dungeon Master Guide. Core Rulebook 3. These are all 20 bucks each. But sadly, these are not worth it. They're actually pricing it at eBay prices. Not even sold those things. They listed prices so that is an absolute pass for us but we're gonna check out the rest of the toy section well we got some like anime statues here so more of them here huh what's this back here oh light box photography cards we got some pokemon cards up here for oh 10 bucks look at that ten dollars yeah it's definitely a pass for me uh, what else do they have in the toy section? They got some Lego. Is this Lego? Yes, it is Lego. Is there any minifigures in here? I see a head. Ten bucks. A sealed Lego baggie. Lego Technics. Interesting. Man, it's really hard to make out what's 
Usually if they don't have minifigures, it's not gonna be worth it, but this looks like it could be a sealed, like a technique car in there. I don't know if this, it might just be one of like three baggies or something. So it's hard to, uh, really, really hard. Cause these are final sale too. So you can't really go picking through it. So if you're wrong, you're wrong, right? Some Yu-Gi-Oh cards here for $7.99. Gift of the mystical elf. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow, a little Lego baggie here for $2.99. What is this? Maybe there's uh, some minifigures in here. Over there. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. And actually, these are Mega Blocks. Let's go back. Oh my god, do you guys remember these? Oh, the holographic Batman Forever stuff? Or is it Batman and Robin? on the Raisin Brand boxes and I think different uh, Kellogg cereals. Jeez, that's so cool. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! Oh, look at that. Batman and Robin. Classic, right? Classic. Philip K. Dick. The scanner darkly. Obviously made into a motion picture with a really unique animation. And more hockey and uh, baseball cards. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they have any Magic the Gathering or Pokemon cards. Holy cow. Free Lego. Everything is free. Okay. What a weird way to end the day. So we found a Lego Minotaurus board game set just sitting on the side of the road. There was like a doll there and two other games, like a Guess Who one, but I looked through them and it looked like they were not complete. And also, I mean, I'm not going to pass up on a free Lego set. That is insane. Oh. <sighs> My God, what a day, crazy day. Another successful day out there at thrift stores and of course GameStop for their $5 Fridays. I absolutely love their $5 Friday deal. Some days are worse than others. Today was actually a fairly mediocre day, although online when I was searching beforehand, it looked like they did have a lot of action figures and magic cards and like Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon stuff. And it looks like that was the stuff that was hardest to find. You know, usually the most collectible an item is either the stores won't have it in stock, so there's nothing there for them to give for $5 Fridays, and obviously it's going to vary location to location. The first place we went to actually had a Yu-Gi-Oh! advent calendar. First, I thought it was from 2021, but it's actually from 2019. It's the last advent calendar that they've ever released, and it looks like they sell anywhere between $50 to $80 Canadian on eBay, which is a really good deal for $5. Now, the cards themselves, if I crack this open and I sold them individually, I would be making at least $35 to $40 instantly, but if it's sealed like it is right now, I could probably get a little bit more for it, which is what I'm gonna do when I hold out for this. The other GameStop that we went to didn't really have anything. I debated getting that Dragon Ball Z pin, but it just didn't really look like a good enough deal. $22 for $5 and everything else there was like $9 reduced to five. So no crazy deals like what we're actually gonna look for when we go to GameStops or $5 Fridays. So we passed on that. But on the way home, I was in shock because we found a Lego board game, Minotaurs. Now this in pre-owned condition only sells for about $22, but that is okay because we got it for free. And the fact we found something on the side of the road it was just crazy. I've found stuff before on the side of the road, a Nerf gun and some Lego in one of our first episodes on the channel. So if you actually wanna go back and check that out, I will leave a link to that in the description. But nonetheless, what an absolutely fantastic day. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. Let me know what your thoughts are about the video down in the comment section below. And of course, may your carts always be full.